Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. What's up you guys? So today we are gonna be starting off in Riley's room. I really wanna rotate her toys. It's been two weeks since I implemented toy rotation and to give you guys a quick kind of like recap on how it's been going, we honestly love it. Riley is a huge fan as well as myself. I have found that one cleanup time is literally five minutes or less and it's perfect for me and also perfect for her because you know she's a toddler she doesn't want to spend her time cleaning up after herself so it's a win-win for both of us also i realized that the quality of play is so much better whether we're playing together um she's even more into playing by herself i just think that there's less toys for her to choose from she feels less overwhelmed i feel less um overwhelmed so this time she had requested two specific toys um to be taken out so i will be doing that and then i do want to keep her dolls out because we literally play with them every single day so I don't want to put those away because I see that she is still playing with them so really we're just going to take out the Barbies and then also the Play-Doh and put, take out the toys that she has specifically requested but she told me she is really enjoying toy rotation um so if you guys are feeling a little bit overwhelmed when it comes to like the amount of toys and clutter and all of that kind of stuff around your house i highly recommend trying toy rotation i'm not going to lie the first initial process of it all does take a while it took me about two hours to get everything done but it's worth it in the end because i feel as if we're bonding more the quality of play is better and not to mention i barely even clean up her room anymore because cleanup time is five minutes or less so she will help me clean up everything up and it's like that so um also i didn't tell her where i hid all the toys and this weekend um she's with her dad so it's the perfect time for me to do toy rotation so i think that's probably what i'm going to do every two weeks i will implement toy rotation and then i think this time i also want to do the same thing with her books there's books that she enjoys but she tends to keep going towards the same ones over and over and over again so i want to implement that as well so we'll see how that goes i will give you guys an update but let me stop and get these toys out, rotate them. So this week I only needed to exchange two of the bins because the one all the way to the right hand side, that is gonna always stay the same because it always has her markers, crayons, crafting things. I like to keep this out because with her schoolwork, she does need a lot of these utensils. So I like to keep them there. And also she wanted to keep all of her dolls. She has been loving playing with dolls lately. She likes to buy accessories and things like that off of Amazon. So it's just the two middle bins that I'm going to be replacing. She specifically asked for LOLs and also to have her connect tiles taken out. So that is basically what I'm going to be doing. I am going through her like I guess like art and craft bin just to kind of get that organized a bit it does get a bit out of order just because she's always crafting and you know leaving her pencils out scissors all of that stuff so I do want to make it a little bit more neat and organized and also start to throw away some of the random crafts that she had been doing throughout the week
These bags are great for storing all of her toys, but I do need to figure out a better system to keep them all organized. I feel as if at this point, everything is just thrown in there and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where I place certain things. So I have an idea as to like what I could do. So I think I'm gonna purchase that off of Amazon and see if this new process will work a lot better. Still using the bigger bins, but having maybe like smaller little mini bags so I can store everything keep like things together will be a little bit easier We finally finished this boy it was a workout but these are the things that I had left out so I'm keeping all of her dolls still here um, just because she's been playing with them a lot literally every single day so I don't want to take those away I did leave her lol camper on the side just because it doesn't fit in the cubes um, so right here it's all about like lols I didn't want to leave all of them out because again that's a lot to clean up so I gave her some accessories a couple of dolls all that good stuff and then here she specifically had asked for her um, tiles so I just created a little tower I guess and then the box is in here she also did ask for lols and then here this one is always going to stay the same for the most part because again 
she needs crayons pencils all of that stuff for school so i switched out the coloring book also at her swim class um, they had some coloring pages so we grabbed a couple of those and then in here I did switch it up a little bit. I brought out her dot markers and then I also took out her um, painting um, smock and her painting clothes because we have some crafts that we're going to be doing and then I also left out a different notebook for her to color in, draw. She loves to do all of that. So these are the toys that are going to be out for the next two weeks. So this week I decided to incorporate book rotation as well because again we have so many different books that are just out on the shelves and she always tends to go for the same exact ones and we read them over and over and over again and I wanted to add a little bit of a variety so I left about probably three or four books her shelf and I want to see how this goes to see if she is more welcoming to reading new books ones that she hasn't read in a while and then we can rotate those out um, I also wanted to leave some of the smaller books out ones that don't have that many words on the pages because she is starting to learn how to read so we have been practicing her reading to me and I wanted to start off small with you know books that aren't too complicated but ones that she can use to practice practice reading. I'm mostly done in here. I just need to vacuum. I did also want to clean the curtains. Clearly you can't throw them in the wash. So I'm going to use a lint roller and just kind of roll over them, try and get any dust, lint, all that stuff off um, and then vacuum. And we're done in Riley's room for the most part. Um, this is the most cleaning that I really do in here since we've incorporated toy rotation just because I did explain to you guys earlier cleanup time is literally five minutes. She's been really really good with making her bed in the morning helping me clean up so I'm like so thankful um, that she's like such a great helper and so many of you guys mentioned that and comment that on my videos. Um, it's bittersweet though at the same time because it's like she's growing up and you know she's becoming more independent but I just still want her to be my baby so you know it's, it's, it's a bit of a struggle and definitely bittersweet. Try to keep it cool 
So the only way that I really know how to clean curtains is to really lint roll them. I don't wanna have to worry about completely taking them down, throwing them in the wash or, and anything like that because honestly, it's really not that serious to me. So I'm just gonna lint roll them, get all of the dust and stuff that has collected over you know the past couple of months. I'm going to quickly vacuum her room and then I'm gonna move on to the living room. some time since we like sat down chatted a bit and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update as to how I've been like feeling lately um I definitely have feel feel as if I've been in a bit of a slump I feel as if like things are attacking me from all different angles and I'm like working my way out of that feeling but it's like I feel as if when you are trusting in God to lead your life and, you know, the the things that you've prayed for, um, all of that stuff, I feel no one really talks about, no one really talks about how hard it is to fully release control. And when I mean releasing control, that's just saying, allowing God to work and move within your life. But at the same time, there are certain levels to it because, you know, we pray for certain things in our lives and there are times when God is moving and working on the things that you've prayed for, um, but it may not look the way you want it to look. And I feel as if that's what I'm struggling with. <laughs> A little bit is like I thought I had fully released control um, but 
I've been wanting it. I've been wanting these things in the way that I feel as if I should do them. And that is just not how it is. It's not how it can be. Um, there are things that we go through in our life and just think about anything that you've been through. Um, and when you've gotten to the other side, everything seems to make sense. And it's almost as if you are grateful for the hardships that you've gone through. But if it was up to you, you would not have chosen that, I guess, like path or things unfolding the way that they did. And um, I, th I think um, for me, I'm just like struggling because I'm a, a woman of a certain age. There are certain things that I want in life. Um, and deep down inside, I feel as if God is, you know, working on the things of my heart. Um, but I'm also struggling with how it's happening or how it's unfolding and I'm getting caught up in the the I guess like the how of it all rather than the end goal of what I truly want and it I had an epiphany I called my friend you know a lot's just been going on in my life whether it's like personal or work or anything like that a lot of change is happening and I'm not a person who likes change, especially when, you know, you get over a little bit of a hurdle, like, you know, you have a major change in your life and, you know, then you're just like, you sit with it and then you're like, okay, this, I, I can do this, you know what I mean? And then it's like more change and then more change. And then it's like, when so many things are hitting you from every angle, it's very overwhelming. And I had a, an epiphany when I was talking to my friend, you know, I was like, just complaining to her about, you know, things that have been going on. And she's just like, yeah, but you know what? Like, maybe this is how God is working on the things that you've asked for. And although it doesn't look the way you want it to look, because in I, like, to a certain extent, I'm still trying to have control. You know what I mean? It's like, I want these things in my life, but I want them to work the way I want them to work out. And, you know, after talking with her, I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm still trying to control certain things and maybe these things that are you know stressing me out or change that's happening it's making me very uncomfortable um but i have to truly believe that it's all working out for my good and i think you know i get caught up um with how things look now rather than trusting in god and knowing that however he plans on moving and leading my life it's all going to work out for my good he's not going to bring me this far to leave me and you know i think that's just some of the hard things that you know i think you know myself and i feel like so many other people go through is like you get caught up in how things look physically now um to the point where you almost want to hold on to a little bit of control because you're like wait hold up like if i'm gonna get this house or i'm gonna get this man or i'm gonna have this family or whatever it is i want it to look like this like i want to meet him in person or i want to him to look this way or i want my kids to be this way like whatever it is i'm literally just like throwing things out there but things are going to unfold on God's timing. And at the same time, we have to focus on the now. And even though things don't look the way we want them to look now, we have to trust that he's got us. And rather than focus on what we don't have, um, maybe we're also not ready because there's things that we need to learn, unlearn, things that we have to, you know, fully release control over. Um, because if we were to get it, we may completely destroy it. You know what I mean? And it's like, I think sometimes 
I know myself, I get carried away. It's like, I want this now. Like, when is this coming? I've been in this preparation or isolation um, season for so long. Like, when are my blessings coming? Especially when you see others around you getting the things that you've been longing for, or praying for. But it's just like, you also don't know what they've done to prepare for those blessings that have come into their life. And just doing the work that God has told us to do because I know a lot of the times we're in these preparation seasons for so long because we're not working on the things that God has asked us to work on or we're not you know working on ourselves or unlearning things or healing or you know drawing closer to him so sometimes our delay is due to us at the same time but I think I also do feel as if deep down sometimes the longer it is for you to receive that blessing there's a reason for the wait or you know maybe if if you're waiting for you know a husband or to be married like maybe that other person is not fully ready um, there, there could be so many reasons, but I think in a world where we like instant gratification, um, it's hard to wait. And that's kind of just what I've been struggling with. And also a lot of change has been going on. I just feel as if like with work and I always bring myself back and try and humble myself and just say like, God is the one who got this job for me and if you guys have been around for a while like literally within a matter of a week I got a brand new job um making way more money than I thought this position is going to help grow me um from the perspective of working and the things that I have been wanting to do um from my last job that I just wasn't able to and now that I have it it's just like I feel so overwhelmed and I feel as if like I'm trying to keep up and you know then I got a new manager and it's just like so much stuff is happening but then I have to humble myself and just like this is what I prayed for this is what I asked for and if I think or thought that it was going to be easy if I thought that this was going to allow me to sit in my comfort zone then I don't know what I was thinking you know what I mean we can only progress in life when we step out of our comfort zone and I think at the same time although we do need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable it's also okay to be like I feel so out of my realm um, but I think that's when you have to fall back and trust in in God and trust in the things that you've prayed for and know that he is with you to have that level of comfort where it's like you know it, it's gonna cause you to draw closer to him because if we could do things on our own then we wouldn't need him you know so um, in this time I, I've just been trying to draw closer to him and sit and trust that it's all working out for my good even though when I look at things right now that's not at all how I feel but there will be a moment and there will be a time when I look back and I'm like it all makes sense so I always feel as if I'm rambling when I have these type of conversations with you guys but you guys do always tend to understand where my heart is when I you know express the things that I'm going through and I'm naturally the type of person when I am going through stuff I shut down like I don't want to necessarily talk about it with other people I'd rather deal with it myself and I know that that's not healthy at all and in some ways it's honestly sometimes easier just talking to you guys about it because it's like I'm just like getting it all out just venting my feelings and then I end up feeling a whole lot better but I just want you guys to know that if you guys are struggling with where your life is at, you know, the outside world is crazy right now, to continue to trust in God, continue to trust that he is, you know, working on the 
things that you are praying for and also a, like letting go of control as to how those things are going to unfold because God knows where God knows his plan for our lives way before we ever existed. So for us to try and take the lead and control how these things come of our lives, I don't think that that is the right way to go. It's just more of trusting in him, trusting in the fact that he has your best interest at heart, but also at the same time, being present in the moment and being grateful for what you have right now. Um, for example, like at least for me, you know, I want to own a house, but the outside world and the economy that we're living in, it's basically saying, no, that's not going to happen. But I'm still praying for that. I'm still prepping for that i'm still grateful for the apartment that i have and not going to downplay where i'm at right now because i'm not where i want to be um i'm being grateful for a roof over my head and no it's not the end goal but if i can't even be grateful for what i have how do i expect god to give me more you know what i mean so it's kind of all of that has just been like going on so just been dealing with a lot but at the same time you know getting it out and reflecting on where i'm at and staying present in the moment and drawing closer to god has really 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 helped me um i'm trying to get better at praying and you know and maybe that's something i need to also work on you know so i just wanted to give you guys some encouraging words you guys are not the only ones who's struggling for those who are but i will just say what has worked for me is just taking a deep breath taking it easy listening to my needs and my body and not pushing myself um but also knowing that when I am feeling uncomfortable with how things are, you know, unfolding, knowing that growth is happening. And at the same time, I can't wait to see what is in store um, because God can change things in an instant. And we just have to be ready and do the work um, so that when we get to the next season, we're prepared for everything that comes with that so i hope you guys enjoyed let me put this um stuff away and then i do need to clean the dining area also clean the kitchen a little bit so we're gonna get some more cleaning I completely forgot to show you guys that we made that little like hanging thing <laughs> um, for her, you know, play stuff. So I ended up using the um, roll that came with the runner and it was very sturdy and everything. So we just hot glued it to the bottom piece and then we used hot glue gun, a hot glue gun to put little thumbnails, I guess if that's what you call it, or tacks in there and then we used a little bit of cardboard up at the top and that was that it was pretty easy we are thinking about painting it but for now this works
moving on over to the kitchen I really needed to clean out my fridge I feel as if this is something that I have been holding off for a while now I am NOT a huge fan of you know going through everything clearing it out it's just not a task that I really enjoy doing so I definitely cannot procrastinate on this any longer so I'm throwing anything out that has gone bad and I also planned on going food shopping the next day so this is the perfect time to do that
There were a couple of things in the sink that needed to be hand washed, like her tea set and even just some of the food containers. I made the mistake by putting that in the dishwasher one time and it warped the top of it. So I will always be hand washing those and not making that mistake again. As I mentioned earlier, I planned on going food shopping the next day, so I also figured this is the perfect time to clean the microwave, clean the stove top, so that all I had to worry about the next day was going food shopping, starting to meal prep, because I definitely need to take my health a lot more seriously. I feel as if I've been telling you guys this for a while now, but like I really do need to get my life together, which I will update you guys in a future video, but I just want to be healthier, feel more confident, in my own skin and that really starts with eating healthier eating whole foods eating out less and you know cooking and eating at home I don't know about you guys but I hate cooking in a dirty kitchen so if I could get the entire kitchen cleaned the refrigerator cleaned out so the next day the entire process of you know meal prepping and all of that stuff goes a lot smoother I feel as if that is going to be what is going to work best for me
now when you're with her, I can see that that you miss me.